dark village, Kalugao, on the foothills of the Himalayas, an agglomerate of the Tamang culture, is the first destination of the Tamang Heritage Trail. Gatlang, which is rich in mountainous civilization and culture, is a recently explored touristic destination. Houses with traditional architecture are one of the peculiar attraction. Gatlang looks black when sighted from a distance, and thus it gains the name Kalogao or the Dark Village. Warm hospitality to the guests and visitors is another speciality of Gatlang. Gatlang is also a treasure for the study of Taman civilization, culture and exposure visit and this has also contributed to the increased number of visitors here in the recent years. People visiting Rasua do not return without visiting Gatlang. One can reach Syaprubesi from Dhunche, the district headquarters, while trekking in the Tamang Heritage Trail. And this is where the trek actually starts. After a two hours uphill trek, we reach at Bahundara and the scenic beauty in this uphill trek is so captivating that the trekkers don't experience any fatigue. Bahundara is also another touristic destination of Rasua. Bahundara is at 1,900 meters altitude from where the view of Langtang and Senjen Hills is clear and near and adding to it is the beauty of the nearby areas of Gosaikunda which is a renowned cultural and touristic destination. The peculiar lifestyle of people in the beautiful mountainous villages can be observed closely while trekking on the Tamang Heritage Trail. Gatlang can be reached on the first day of the trek, starting from Syaprubesi. On the second day, the trail stretches from Gatlang to Chilime, Thuman and Nagthali, while on the third day we reach Bridim from Thuman village, where we cross Timuri on the way. Bridim is the crossing point for this trail, as one can continue towards Langtang or return to Syaprubesi from here. Passing through different villages, 
this trekking is completed in seven days. District Development Committee has formulated a strategy to alleviate poverty by tourism development. As a result of this strategy, different tourism development programs have been initiated that has contributed to the increased flow of tourists in this mountainous district. Before the development of the tourism sectors, people of Gutlang were involved in subsistence farming and cattle herding. Sheep and yak herding was the main occupation for majority of the people, while some farmers were also busy in bean and potato farming. This had just helped them with their livelihood. Time has changed. After the initiation of Tourism for Rural Poverty Elevation Program TRPAP in 2059 Bikram Sambad, tourism is the first choice of the people here. With the increased flow of tourists, well-managed hotels have been constructed in Gutlang. Homestay is also getting attention, where one can enjoy the locally prepared food items. Parvati Kunda and Jagisur Kunda has added to the attraction and as a result Gatlang has been the choice of tourists. The devastating April 25, 2015 earthquake of Nepal destroyed Gotlang village as well. The geography here is beautiful and so is the civilization and the culture. The local youths are engaged in rebuilding Gotlang. Preservation of old civilization and culture has been started in their initiation. They are moving ahead in reconstruction works to re-establish the identity of Dark Village or the Kalugao. And they are waiting for the government and non-government agencies involved in the reconstruction works for this. They have taken a decision to make Gatlang a touristic center by initiating the concept of Dark Village or the Kalugao. <laughs> 